FDA just made a historic decision to approve the first ever prescription drug made from cannabis. Epidiolex is for patients as young as two years old who have epilepsy. It's supposed to help treat two different forms of epilepsy, including one that causes seizures. I want to welcome a doctor to uh, the show, Dr. Laura Lovers. She is a chief, the chief uh, scientific officer for Citizens United for Research in Epilepsy, the leading non-government uh, agency committed to funding research in epilepsy. Um, you know, it's so, it's so interesting. We've had many patients on talking about their search for some sort of help and search for answers and finding that marijuana and, or CBD or some of the properties of it were helping them. How big of a deal is this for those people looking for relief? This is a significant event for the epilepsy community. Uh, there are over three million people in the U.S. Uh, with, with epilepsy and over one million of those have seizures that are uncontrolled. Uh, to, they often have very limited options for controlling their seizures, so this introduction of Epidiolex uh, and approval through the FDA uh, is a new option that gives hope to many families. So help us understand, since uh, you've uh, taken a look at the research and you know what went into creating this, this, this um, treatment, differentiate Epidiolex for us and CBD oil or CBD products that we see already out on the markets. Sure. So CBD oils are generated from the cannabis plant, uh, but they're generated by a variety of different uh, groups and available through medical dispensaries and online, uh, and, but they all have a different manufacturing process. Epidiolex, uh, which is manufactured by a company called uh, GW Pharmaceuticals, um, is, a, is very consistent in its manufacturing process and its extraction process. Importantly, it's been studied extensively uh, by through clinical trials to demonstrate what level of effectiveness it has as well as the safety profile or the potential risks of taking the drug and that it has not been done with the CBD oils that are available yeah that's one of the concerns because again um, children as young as two mm -hmm. Uh, potentially needing treatment um, how will it react to children uh, versus adults well, um, that's a good question. They, um, it, it has been treated, uh, tried in uh, people as young as two, out, all the way through age 55, and um, it, it seems to reduce seizure frequency about 20% in those groups of people. Again, it's only been studied in um, people with a syndrome called uh, Dravet syndrome, as well as Lennox-Gastaut syndrome. Uh, typically, um, uh, children with Dravet, it was studied in children with Dravet who are only, it was median age of about 10 years of age and they, it, there was effectiveness in that population. And again, it is not designed to get people high, uh, that, that those properties are not in, in this at all. It just needs to be said because some people will, you know, as soon as they hear, Oh, somebody's interrupting our live shot, are they? You tell them that you're in the middle of live television. <laughs> Dr. Lovers, thanks so much for coming in to talk to us. We so appreciate it. And hopefully uh, this will mean relief for so many people with epilepsy. Thanks yes. for joining us. Yes, thank you for your time.